are delicious. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't have a lot of time, but I did want to talk about consent in a different way because I've actually, I wrote a novel called Ranky Therapy for Hamsters, Gerbils, and Small Guinea Pigs. Something <laughs> of interest to me. I wrote a book on it, and I've been watching these kids in captivity. So the first guinea pig I had was a solo male. A solo male, not getting a lot of hoo-hoo action. <laughs> Guess what? Coconut bit everyone around. You, cr you try to hold him, give him a love and tenderness, bites your finger. A very angry guinea pig died at a young age, very unhappy. Okay. <laughs> and we had pancake and caramel, two brothers. We disturbingly found out at breakfast that one thing they like to do every 15 minutes is hump. <laughs> but there's always one who likes to hump and be on top, and there's one that doesn't like to get humped. So Caramel didn't like it, Pancake did like it. <laughs> but the tricky thing at breakfast with your kids, you can't say, well, sometimes brothers need to hump. <laughs> Geographic is there something called a uh, pancake? Sorry, caramel was the dominant one. Caramel cum. <laughs> and guess what? In my job description, I don't clean that up. So you know what happens when Guinea Jizz dries out people hard as a mental leftist hold. <laughs> so your only solution is to cut it off. Oh. Which we did, and there's a bald spot reminding you where the damage was done. <laughs> And a lot of you are like, why are you sharing this? I need to. <laughs> I've been living with these assholes for too long. Okay, this is what happens when your neighbor says, hey, can we get coffee to come over? Well, coffee comes over and decides to hump caramel. Caramel's now stressed, he humps pancake. And coffee likes to have pancake as well. So we got a double whammy. A little bit of awkwardness. And I looked online, the only way to stop this is with oven mitts. <laughs> coffee got sent home because he had bad manners. And it's not welcome in my house. But the good news is, and I know this got awkward, and I really feel serious moisture, but I'm excited to announce that these guinea pigs have since died. And I convinced my family to get three female guinea pigs. Now, I was told, oh, female guinea pigs, they hump, they hump. Guess what, people? They don't hump. These girls are camping in their little house, and yes, there's a little bit of arguing, and yes, there's a little, oh, you stole my hair dryer. Hey, that's my lip liner, bitch. There's a little bit of that. Oh, your nails don't look good. Well, neither do yours, slut. Right? There's a little bit of that, but there's a lot of hummus. <laughs> and there's a lot of massage, and there's a lot of talking. So I just want y'all to know there's a, a good ending to this story, and I am excited that I got to shoot it. <laughs>